Good day class. In this video, we will continue the lecture of inverse kinematics. So we will uh, derive the solution for the inverse kinematics of Cartesian manipulator. Okay, so this is our Cartesian manipulator. This Cartesian manipulator has a stand. Okay, so we will uh, redraw our Cartesian manipulator with only its uh, base frame. Okay, only it's a base frame. So we will redraw its front view first. Then next is the top view. Okay, so let's analyze the front view of our uh, Cartesian manipulator. This Cartesian manipulator, okay, at the end of vector, uh, Along the Z sub 0 axis, okay, we have here the Z04, okay, the value of Z04. Again, the Z04, X04, and Y04 are given because they are the position vectors or the, they are the elements of the position vector okay while the horizontal okay is the x04 the value of x04 okay same with the z04 the x04 is given okay so okay so at the front view we can only see the axis of z0 and the x0 so we have a value for z04 and x04 okay Okay, so our x04, okay, at the end of vector up to the base is equals to a3 plus d2. This is just a3 plus d2. Okay, x04 is equals to a3 plus d2. So, D2 is the uh, joint variable D. Okay. It is uh, the joint variable that we need to find and uh, derive the solution. So, to solve for D sub 2, okay, subtract both sides by... by uh negative uh, sorry add both sides by negative a3 or just bring the d sub 2 to the left and x04 to the right okay so our our solution is this to solve for d2 Okay, D2 is equals to X04 minus A sub 3. Okay, so let's give a different color for our T sub 2 so that it will remind us that it is the joint variable we need to solve. Okay, next. Along a... Uh, Z sub 0 axis, okay, the Z 0 4 is equals to A sub 1 minus A sub 4 minus D sub 3, okay, based on the figure, based on the figure, Z sub 0 4, uh, Z 0 4 is equals to A sub 1, Minus a sub 4. Minus a sub 4 because a sub 4 is pointing downward. And minus d3 because uh, 
we have here a prismatic joint pointing downward. Okay, so the D is pointing or the D will uh, go downward and upward. Okay, so our joint variable here is D3. So to solve for D3, we will arrange our uh, equation will be arranged like this so d3 is equals to a sub 1 minus a sub 4 minus z sub uh, z04 okay so d sub 3 is the joint variable okay so let's uh, put them inside a box oh sorry Okay. So let's uh, make this color indigo. Okay. So now we have the joint variable D2 and joint variable D3. Okay. So our next, uh, we, uh, the remaining joint variable is d sub 1 so we can get d sub 1 if we redraw our kinematic diagram at top view okay at top view we can only see the axis of y sub 0 and the axis of x sub 0 okay so because we already use the axis of x sub 0 in our front view drawing of the Cartesian manipulator, we don't need it anymore. Okay, so what we need here is the is the axis of y zero three, and along y zero three is the line or the value of our y zero four. Okay, this is y zero four. Okay, and uh, again, y zero four is given because it's an element of our position vector. Okay, so we will uh, solve for d sub one. Okay, if we analyze this uh, figure y04 is equals to a sub 2 plus d sub 1 okay d sub 1 is our joint variable a sub 2 is the link length okay it's the link length from the first joint up to the second joint so d is the uh, joint variable that uh, will extend the prismatic joint okay yeah, sorry it is the length of the extension of the first joint first prismatic joint is first prismatic joint okay so y04 is equals to a2 plus d sub 1 okay so with this equation we can solve for d sub 1 Okay, so it will become d sub 1 is equals to y04 minus a sub 2. Okay, so let's put it inside a, ba is a rectangle. Okay, and let's color our d sub 1 indigo. Okay, to remind us that is this is our... Uh, this is our joint variable. Okay. So just like our last example from the from uh, the introduction of graphical method. Okay. We will number our equation. We will number our equation uh, based on the uh, based on the arrangement of how we will how will we solve our joint variables okay but each uh, joint variable d 
is independent with each other, we may start uh, solving for d sub 1 if y0, 4 and a sub 2 is already given. The next is d sub 3 and after that d sub 2 or vice versa. Okay, but I will uh, number it like this. I will uh, solve first the d sub 2. Next, the d sub 3. And the d sub 1. Okay. So this is the solution for the inverse kinematics of our Cartesian manipulator with a stand. Okay. So as... Uh, as you notice, class, the solution for the inverse kinematics of the Cartesian manipulator is easy to compute. Okay, unlike the introduced solution for this uh, kinematic diagram, okay, this two degrees of freedom kinematic diagram, so it takes six. Okay, six solution or six equations to solve our joint two joint variables. Okay, so you will notice. Okay, if we study, if we study the next other me uh, mechanical manipulators, uh, you notice that the uh, Cartesian manipulator is a uh, ver has the easiest uh, inverse kinematic solution. Okay, among the uh, five common mechanical manipulators. So, th th this, this is the reason why engineers are choosing the Cartesian manipulator okay, for the design of the robot in the industry, especially for uh, electronics industry because the electronic components are very small. That's why they choose this kind of uh, mechanical manipulator as well as uh, as well as the, for the application of uh, 3D printing. 3D printing. Okay, they use the Cartesian manipulator because it has the ECS inverse kinematics solution. Okay. So before we go to our next uh, manipulator, I will just change the symbol of our joint variable d so it should be look like this okay. to lessen the confusion okay. this is also correct but to this is also indicate that uh, the joint variable D is always positive. Okay. Okay, so okay. let's let me change let me also change this to this should be the proper uh, symbol indicator symbol of our uh, joint variable D. Okay, let's change this. We just need the D sub 1. Okay, let's copy this. Let's put it in here. Okay. So we are 
looking the Cartesian manipulator at top view. Why it's not? Okay. Let's rotate it. Rotate again. Then the sub one. Okay, so this is our Carti uh, inverse, inverse kinematics of Cartesian manipulator.